Hello. Today we're going to read apple pie. We're very happy about this. Doesn't have an author. All right. So here's the picture. We can use our power finger. We like to pick the apples. I have my apple right here. I did not pick it though. I went to the grocery store and picked it. We, our finger, we like to wash the apples. I'll go wash my apple. We like to peel the apples. I'll put the book aside. Let's see, I've already done a bunch of apples in my bowl right here. And I tried the peeler, it did not work for me. I've got my bag, I've got my knife. I'm going to be very careful not to cut myself. Now, my recipe for an apple pie, I'm going to do a crumble topping. And the crumble topping is supposed to go in the freezer. So as soon as I am done cutting this apple, we're going to do the measurements for the crumble topping and put it in the freezer while I do the rest of the steps in the book. Do you like apples? I got Fiji apples. You know, there's yellow apples and green apples, different kinds of apples. I just picked the apple that was on sale. So, cheapest apple. So now I have peeled my apple. <laughs> Put my peelings off to the side. Put my apple in here while I do the crumb topping. So, my crumb topping. I need one cup of flour. I don't know if you can see the one right here. I'm going to dump that in. One cup of flour. And then it says a third of a cup of brown sugar. So have you had brown sugar from sugar? Brown sugar. So normally sugar is white, but this one is brown. And I need a third, so that's going to be one dash three for a third. Make it. I'm gonna have to pour it into the cup. Usually, with brown sugar, you want to pack it in. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, then I need some cinnamon, which is a spice. I have a lot of cinnamon, so hopefully I've got enough. This is a fourth of a teaspoon, so a teaspoon. Ooh, teeny tiny, teeny tiny little fourth. Ooh, there's a teeny tiny amount, and I got them out, and I've got a little tea. Let's see how I'm gonna. There we go. Oh, my oven's ready. Cinnamon is done. And then I need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to use my same fourth of a teaspoon. Put some salt in there. Notice how I'm pouring over my bowl in case there's any extras. It kind of falls in. And one stick of unsalted butter uh, cut into half inch pieces. Room temperature. So here we are. I'm just going to put those in there. And make the crumb topping. Mix the flour, brown sugar, cinnamon, and salt in a medium bowl. Rub the butter into the mixture with your fingers till no longer floury and crumbs form. Freeze until ready to use. So get my hands in here just like 
pie crust. Get my hands. We don't want flour on top of the pie. We want some sugar in there and make it sweet, huh? Apples might be tart, so we're going to need this kind of sweet topping. And I guess some people would put on gloves if they don't like to get their hands all dirty. I like my top being sweet, so I might be putting more brown sugar in here. Because I don't like the looks of it. If it looks too flowery, I want this brown color. And so some people put like a crust on top of an apple pie. So you have a crust on the bottom and a crust on top. But I'm just going to have a crust on the bottom. I've already made my crust. I pre-did that so this video would not be too long. The crust was flour and butter. And I did the same thing with the butter on the crust. I had the big chunks of butter. Okay, mine's looking too flowery, so I am going to add some more brown sugar. Top. This is going to be on the top, so I want it to be sweet crunchies with kind of the tartness of the apples. So since I've already made one pie with the Marionberry filling, I decided to do a different topping with this pie. Move along. Can you kind of see the got these little balls forming? And it's kind of getting darker. I can kind of mix it up if you can kind of see. And it says to freeze it. It wants the butter to get hard so it doesn't melt right away when it enters into the oven. What's your favorite kind of pie? Do you like apple pie, blueberry pie, There's pecan pie? I read a book and Bear had honey pie. I've never had honey pie before. He also liked pumpkin pie. Okay. Oh, we still have some, it's not all brown, still kind of white. Not sure, get it all mixed in. All right. What do you see? You see some lumps in there? Look good. Alright, so my recipe says I need to freeze this. So this page we've already read, we like to peel the apples. You can see they're peeling. Next, what do we need to do? Get our power fingers. We like to cut the apples. Well, take an apple. And I'm gonna use my bigger knife. If you're trying this at home, please do this with an adult. Bag. I don't want the seeds of the apple. 
I know some of you at school were saving your apple seeds so that you could grow apple trees in our playground. Wouldn't that be cool if we had apple trees in our playground? So you can see in the middle, I've got a core. I'm gonna cut that out. I do not want that in my pie. It tastes good. You're like, what is crunchy in my pie? All right, so my uh, recipe calls for some lemon juice. So I've got this fresh squeezed lemon. I'm going to take the seeds out because that would be no good. And I'm going to put some lemon juice over it. Oh, I missed a seed. Missed another seed. All right, now I need to cut them into chunks. Right now I've got big slices. There's lemon seeds in here. I'll take out. That would not taste good, huh? So you bite into a seed in your apple, apple pie. All right, so now. Seeds out of here. I don't want to mix those up. Now I need to start cutting the apples to even chunks. Probably bite sized chunks so people can easily pick them up with a fork. We want them to cook evenly, so we want them to be the same size, preferably. I think I used five apples for this recipe. Let's see here, I don't want them to get that. Five. And I also think the lemon juice might help the apples uh, not turn brown so fast. Some smaller chunks and some bigger chunks. I hope that's going to be okay. Because the bigger chunks, since they're bigger, they're going to take longer. Oops, this part of the core there. The bigger chunks are going to take longer to cook. And so they're going to be more crunchy. It could be as soft. The smaller ones, because they're small, they are going to be cooking faster. I'm going to try to get them the same size, which I don't think I am doing a very good job. I'm more of an artistic cooker. It frustrated my mother growing up. I was not really allowed in the kitchen growing up. I was more out with my dad. Working on the car. I don't know what's more dangerous. Being an artist. <laughs> working in the kitchen. Or working on the car. I have to do yard work. Let's see. That's a big chunk there. Another big chunk. Around. There's a big chunk. Almost there. Whoops. I did not cut that one well. About five more chunks in here, and then I'll look at my recipe and see. Oh, that's a big one. Look at my recipe and see what my recipe says compared to what the book. It's very fascinating. Comparing the two, the recipe with another book, because we all have different ways of making things, don't we? 
being flexible and going with the flow. Just checking my chunks. Found, found one. That one has some core to it. I don't want any of the core? At least I don't. I don't like a big chunk. Found another one. Got to have detective eyes, just like reading, huh? All right. I got them all cut. Nope, I missed one. While I'm mixing, maybe I'll see more. The mixing part. Okay. Okay, put my trash in my trash bag. Okay, let's see. Try not to get my book all dirty, huh? All right, so we just did this part where it says we like to cut the apples. What's the next part? What are they gonna do? I'm just got a measuring cup. I just got a spoon and a bowl. We like to mix the apples. All right, so let's mix it. All right, make the filling. Mix the apples. Got some melted butter. It's four tablespoons of melted butter. Uh oh. Got something in there. Put in my trash bag. Some seeds flew in there while I was cutting. There's some melted butter. Drizzle that over that. Butter's going to make it have a rich flavor. Then I need a third of a cup of white sugar. A third of a cup. So I already used my third of a cup for the brown sugar, so I'm just going to use that one again. Then it says a fourth of a cup. I need more brown sugar. A fourth is going to be one fourth. So the one third. One four. Let's compare the sizes of the one third and the one four. This is the one third. This is the one fourth. Which one's bigger? So you have more with the one third. So we put more white sugar than we're going to put of brown sugar. You can see my brown sugar is not as soft as the white sugar. There we go. I'm supposed to pack that in, but more of an artiste. Two tablespoons of flour. So now we're not doing cups, we're doing tablespoons. Tablespoons is the big T. Tablespoons, there's my big T. Two of them. One, two. Some people like to level it out. Apparently, I'm not one of those people. Oh, fresh lemon juice. I already put my lemon juice in there, so we're good. I need some more cinnamon. Teaspoon again. Where's my teaspoon? It's got the butter on it. So that's going to make the cinnamon stick. Remember, teaspoon is with the little. Teaspoon is with the little. So. Stick on it. Eyeball. The end of my cinnamon. Okay, go, go, go buy more cinnamon. And an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. An eighth. I don't have an eighth, do I? Maybe one of these. There's a fourth. 
So I do not have an eight. I am just going to do a splash. Salt and then a little bit more for good measure. And then it says to spoon, I need to mix it, mix the apples. So I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix it with my fun spatula because I love my fun spatula then. Because when oh, it just makes me smile every time. I'm easily amused. I'll mix that all in the lemon juice. I'm going to kind of chomp up that brown sugar. So somebody doesn't bite into a big brown sugar clump. I mean, it probably, I like it sweet, so I would not mind a brown sugar clump. But other people will be eating this, and I have to think about the other people, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Can you see how it's changing colors? See how it's getting more brown? The flour made that lemon juice thick. One more hard sugar and I'm going to take that one out. Any other hard brown sugars I need to take out? I want some brown sugar clumps. Okay. I think they're all coated. I think they're all mixed. All right. What does the book say? Now we've mixed it. So we read this page. We like to mix the apples. And it says, Powerfinger, we like to bake the apple pie. Nope, gotta get it ready, gotta put it in the oven. I need a foil lined baking sheet. Baking sheet. Oil because it's probably going to spill out. We don't want that. If it gets to the bottom of the oven, then it's going to burn. And we don't want a burnt apple pie. I'm going to get my pie press that I pre made. I got the saran wrap. All right. So let's see. Can you see the chunks of butter? It's going to make it all flaky and crispy. Some chunks of butter here. Get that in there. It says spoon the filling into the chilled pie crust. And then I pat the crumb mixture on top. Now, in the past, when I've made apple pie before, I've cooked the apples ahead of time. This time we're not cooking the apples, so this one's going to be different. I've never made this recipe before. Something new. Pat this down. Up. Oh. Found a large piece of apple. Another one. Okay, good thing I looked. Okay, let me get my crumb mixture. Make sure that's even, right? Pat down. Does that look even to you? This side looks a little higher. Get all that good filling. Okay, frozen crumb mixture, and it just says pat it in, doesn't it? Need to 
get it outside, huh? Get it around the edges. What's on this side? Trying to poke out. All right. How's that look? Does that look good? Okay, pat the crumb mixture on top. Bake the pie on a hot baking sheet into lightly browned about 30 minutes. Reduce the oven temperature to 350 and bake the apples soft for 60 more minutes. Oh, okay. So I got 400 for 30 minutes. It in the oven, just like our book and our okay. So we just did this part where it says we like to bake the apple pie. Oh. I have to wait an hour for mine. We like to smell the apple pie. I don't get to do that right away. And this is what I will be doing later on. We like to eat the apple pie. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy your apple pie if you're gonna make it at home.